Colalab AI 3.5 is out and it is not just another update, it is a massive leap forward. If you're Apple Silicon user, Colalab AI 3.5 is going to be 22 times faster. Now, let me just repeat this one more time. It is going to be 22 times faster. In this video, I'm going to show you what it means and how it works. This morning, we dropped a 3.5 update for Colorlab AI and it's available for download on our website. And it is not just another update, it is really the biggest performance improvement that we have seen so far. In version 3.4, for example, um, and matching time for a shot on an average computer, depending how much RAM and how many cores you had, would be anything between three to eight seconds. Right now, we are measuring 150 to 330 milliseconds per shot. Let me give you a real world example. So let's imagine you have to grade one hour timeline with around 1,500 shots. So at this speed, it's going to take you less than eight minutes to do a first pass on the timeline. This is before you even finish your coffee, the first pass is already going to be done. This changes everything. So if you're a pro and you're very fast, it used to be hard to justify whether you should use AI because sometimes it takes you longer to send to AI and back. But now, at this speed, it is faster than human. So it is always going to save you time. And you know, you just have this beautifully balanced first pass ready for you in a matter of minutes. Or for those of you who work in the studios on dailies and you have a large amount of dailies to process, let's say six to eight hours. So what does it mean? It means that in, in less than 20 to 30 minutes max, you'll be able to go and complete all your dailies. And remember, Colab does not render anything. It just creates metadata so you can instantly start playing back and using the color matches. First, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and mark my scenes. So, um, you know, this is one scene, then I have here another scene, then I have here another scene. I'm just pressing M um, to separate scenes because, you know, I want to like just have a different looks or different references for different scenes. This one seemed to be okay. All right, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say here, okay, in my show looks, I'm gonna go to historic Agfa. Um, yeah, this shot is actually pretty fine the way it is. Um, in this scene here, uh, I'm gonna go and apply this particular show look and let me just open it a little bit like this. So let's say this is now my, let me just find a, like a good, yeah, this is maybe a good shot, right? Good, good reference. I'm always looking for something that represents, um, you know, approximately everything we have here. And basically we got now all of these shots perfectly matched. Um, here I'm going to go again, just go and do a little um, uh, show look again. Um, yeah, we can maybe just open it a little bit like this, um, set it as a match. And then I'm going to go and match this scene. So these two shots now are matching. And then here, this is a really nice actually reference. So I'm going to go again, apply my show look. Um, let me just cool it down just a notch. I don't want it to be this warm. And I'm going to go set it as a match. This is a pretty long scene. Again, I'm just going to go press match scene. So you see at this speed, it is, you know, just going through it, grinding through it and, you know, getting almost uh, 15 minutes long scene with all these shots perfectly balanced for me. Excellent. So this is now all good. Everything's looking great. I like it. I like it. I like it. Now we're coming to the church scene. Um, yeah, again, I'll just always start with a show that reference. Um, let me just open it a little bit like this, set it as a match. 
and then let's go and match this scene now. So this scene is a little bit shorter, just under 10 minutes. Perfect. And we got all of those shots now matching perfectly as well. So you see, I've just quite very quickly given myself a first pass. All I have to do is now say, hey, push this to resolve. Um, you know, I could build my own node tree with exactly all the places where I need to have, you know, my nodes. Color Lab has just pushed everything onto my DaVinci Resolve. I come to DaVinci and all of my grades are now perfectly available for me to start working with it in real time. And now my first pass is done. I can now go and do manually a little bit tweaking, windows, all the other magic that is actually necessary to do. But as you can see at the fraction, at absolute fraction of the time that what it used to take me when I used to do things manually. It is very important not to fall behind. AI is not coming, it is already here. Your colleagues are using it, your competitors are using it, and your clients. Well, they will expect the same level of efficiency. So don't sleep on it. Get in grips with Colorlab AI now and start using it. It is not replacing you, it is giving you the superpowers. Colorlab AI 3.5 is available from our website. Go and download it now and let us know how fast you were able to match it using our new and accelerated engine. And if you're a Windows, NVIDIA or AMD user, just to let you know that we are working towards accelerating you as much or not even more on your platform as well. And don't forget to subscribe to get more info like this.